Sarah, you're here today for a particular reason. What's that? Um, I have an ugly tattoo on my neck. So you're ready yeah. for it to be G-O-N-E, gone. gone. Yeah. Well, Dr. Kirby, you've seen the tattoo, and you say it's a good candidate for removal. Sarah's come to the right place. She is a great candidate for removal, and I'll tell you why. It's upper extremity. The neck is very, very vascular. Do you want to have a seat here, Sarah, and we'll take a closer look? And uh, she also has a fair complexion like myself, so black ink <laughs> tattoos on the upper extremity tend to do really, really well. And, and so if anyone's thinking about getting a tattoo and they're not sure they're going to want it forever, you're saying black is actually a good ink to use? 100%. It's not that intuitive, but you should definitely choose black color because that's the easiest for dermatologists to remove. All right. So, Sarah, are you ready? Yes. So we're going to get started here on three. Bear with me one second. One, two, three. Here we go. Doing okay there, Sarah? Yeah. So bear with me, you're doing great. Now the clinical frost you see here, that change in color, I'm absolutely thrilled by that. I mean, Sarah is getting nothing short of a phenomenal reaction, and that's actually the lysis of the ink bonds. The ink is carbon-based, and when you see that frosting, we call it, that's actually the breakdown of the bonds. That's and carbon dioxide will being released. Resorb that. That's correct. The, the carbon dioxide gas, it will just dissipate into the environment. We're more than halfway done. Sarah, bear with me, you're doing wonderfully. So this is essentially laser technology. How many treatments would Sarah need for a tattoo? Like I'm this? glad you asked that question. Sarah's going to need approximately 10. My guess is getting that tattoo took north of an hour, and hopefully getting it removed is going to take less than two or three minutes. We are almost done, sweetheart. You're doing wonderfully. Five, four, three, two, one, zero. Sarah, I'm all done torturing you. <laughs> I'm applauding you, Sarah, because... <laughs> You know, this, I've never had a tattoo, no. old, but I know those lasers, hey, they do their job by penetrating the skin, and are you doing okay? Yeah, because, I'm good. <laughs> you know, and we, there is a, a smell in here of, um, yeah. you know, burnt, burnt skin almost. Yeah, you know what, actually what you smell there is probably a little singeing of the hair, because this one just went up into the hairline, but the result she has there is exactly what I love to see. See, beautiful frosting, you can see the ink dissipated already, she needs multiple treatments, but I think she can rest assured she's going to have 100% normal skin. So, Dr. Travis, can you hand me that aftercare cream there? Of course. Thank you very much. We're going to put just a little bit of this on here, and we're just going to take good care of this after the fact. I always tell my patients 50% of tattoo removal is what I do with the laser, and 50% is how well they take care of it after they leave here today. Sarah's going to be a great patient and do a phenomenal job at home. So I'm extremely confident that she, over the next uh, few weeks to months, she's going to get a great result. So are you doing okay? Yeah. Does it feel a little... Calm down now with the cream on there. Um, yeah, it feels feels moisturized. Well, thank you for being such a good patient here today. We really appreciate it. And then also something, Sarah, you may or may not know. Um, you're local. I'm local. You need additional treatments to get rid of it completely, and those are on me. We're going to take care of it. So thank you so much oh for my participating. Oh my God! Sure, Sarah. Thank you. Show everyone at home that you're actually doing okay. And you survived. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> you survived. High five for that. Dr. Kirby, great job. Thank you very thank much. You, sir.